So I've had this special shot in mind for a very long time and it is super simple. It's basically just a small boat on the horizon line looking out over the ocean. And my granddad, he was very fond of ships and the maritime lifestyle. I don't think he ever actually sailed, but he was very fascinated by it. So this is actually something I haven't done a whole lot, but it is kind of close to my heart. Uh, just looking out over the ocean and enjoying the different boats out there. Now, I'm not quite sure if I've come out on the right day, because in all honesty, the weather is a little bit meh. The clouds are beautiful, we have lots of texture there, so it might actually be a black and white photo. I'm not sure yet. Um, the only thing I need to be aware of is basically that there are some islands out here in the background and I don't want to have the boat in front of an island. So I need to wait until the boats are between the islands before I can actually take the shot. Now another issue I seem to be facing, and I guess it's because of the weather, is that there's not a whole lot of boats out there. Uh, we have quite a lot of small marinas and we have Aarhus Town all the way further up there. So usually there are quite a lot of yeah, boats and sea traffic around here. Uh, but today, almost none. Well, I, I guess it makes my Photoshop work easier, so I don't have to clone out all the stuff I don't want in there. But right now I basically just have to wait. So finally there is some all the way out there. Obviously you can't see it on this camera. Um, but the one thing that I need to take care of is that I catch my focus. So I just zoom all the way in to 400 millimeter and then I just enlarge the screen and then I simply just focus on the ship. Super simple. I'm not going for any long exposure, anything. I want to see the waves of the ocean and then I simply just point and shoot. Right now I will have a shutter speed of like 320th of a second. So I have plenty to work with and I have image stabilization on. So it's basically just taking the shot handheld no problem. Now the one thing that I have actually thought about when it comes to today is that I think the dark clouds are actually a good thing. Now I had imagined it as a photo which were maybe taken on, on a clear day with some blue sky behind and some, some more blue water. But I actually think that the white sails of the ships stand out quite good on a dark background such as a grey sky as we have today. So I actually quite like these photos. Again, as of standing right here, I am not completely sure that I like the dark clouds in the background or if I want to go for a more clear day. Well, I can always come back later. And maybe the boats I've catched today are not the most interesting boats either. Maybe I should wait for some like, you know, tall ship racing. Another thing I got to play around with was the composition. So there's not a whole lot you can do when you only have like one clear horizon line. But what I really liked was to put that line all the way down there in the bottom. And 
it goes completely against the rule of thirds. And this is one of the reasons why I really do not like the rule of thirds, because it forces you to think in a specific way and all your photos get to look the same. So putting it all the way down in the bottom, you really get so much negative space in the photo and it just becomes such a powerful photo that just shows the absolute vastness of the ocean. And I really like that. And you don't really get big waves, so you also get the calmness. So vastness and calmness of the ocean. And yeah, I'm, I, I actually think I really like the photos today, uh, but I might want to come back at another time to get the shot uh, with a more interesting boat. So it's the following evening and I've come back down to the water and as you can see it's sunset right now and it's just an absolutely beautiful summer atmosphere. It's not super warm, like you know <laughs> in Danish terms it's quite warm, um, but as you can see out here over the ocean there is not a whole lot of boats, there's actually only one and you can probably see it because it's slid up out there and it has its sail up. It's literally going to be the only boat probably tonight that I can photograph and it's sailing in the right direction. So right now it's basically just about catching some b-roll uh, recording here with the long lens so you can have something to watch other than me and then simply just waiting for it to come further over. So what I didn't prepare for were that there's actually a cloud that has come in. Usually I would be pretty happy about that during sunset but tonight I actually just hoped that the background mist or haze would be lit up by the sunset in those beautiful pink colors. This boat will be in harbor way before that happens, so maybe I can use the cloud to frame the photo. And uh, yeah, I think there's a decent chance that I can actually get a photo from tonight that I'm actually fairly happy with. As long as he just keeps the sail up, I think this will be really nice. All right, so now I really have to hurry because yeah, he's not waiting for me, that's for sure. So just find the right shutter speed. Well, I'm an aperture priority, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> uh, just find the focus and make sure that I'm shooting at, let's say, f11 for sharpness. And my shutter speed is 1 80th of a second. I think that's fine to freeze it. Zooming out a bit more to get a little bit more of those clouds up there. I'm on two second timer simply just because the shutter speed right now is like 1 80th of a second. So I need to make sure that I'm not shaking the camera setup here. All right, so that was some horizontals. Also need to get some verticals. That's actually the main thing I'm after here, need to zoom out a bit. So it is actually exactly this I've come for. I don't really care too much about the clouds. I think they might actually add something to the scene, but it's the those pastel colors that I'm after. Like, I don't really want super dramatic flaming sky, just like beautiful blues and pinks mixed together in a shot and then have that boat there as the focal point. This is just... I think this will work out. I think this will work out. It's gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. I have 
one chapter on negative space and one on direction in my first ebook on composition. Two compositional tools I used to compose these photos. If you want to learn more about this and composition in general, there are links to my ebooks and their free light versions down in the description. I am also curious to know which photos you like the most, those with darker moody skies or the pastel colored from the sunset. If you enjoyed this video, I would highly appreciate a like and a comment, and if you want to see even more, remember to subscribe to the channel.